<laughs> now the folks are gonna be coming in. Shout out. All right, Lord. put your hands together. Put your hands together for Spunky, y'all. Spunky Robinson, y'all. Come on, come on. Everybody get up. Come on, pop it up for Spunky Robinson. Ah. Come on, y'all. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Man, that last dude, Crazy Chris, man, that was funny. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? All right, that's cool. Hey, listen, um, before I get started, uh, I need everybody under the sound of my voice. Uh, could y'all please put your sodas down, put your drinks down, clap it up for me because today is actually the third year anniversary of me surviving a cancel. Y'all clap it up for me, man, for real. I don't mess with no more cancer, just Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. <laughs> 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 Look at this girl right here, she mad as hell. I'm clapping for you! Let's get the ball, just do it. Just move on to Atlanta, I had to move from Miami. I'm explaining to you why. This is the last straw. They went to North Miami. I don't know what they doing in North Miami, but I knew I was in a bad neighborhood when I pulled up to the gas station. I walked inside to pay for my gas. When I walked out, a man tried to sell me something that was inside my car. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I'm sick of I'm sick of my kids. Anybody sick of their kids sometimes? Just me? Okay, that's cool. That's what's up. I'm sick of my kids sometimes. I'm telling you why. Because my kids, they too small for their own age. Like I got a 16-year-old and I got a 10-year-old, both for boys. You know what I'm saying? I love my kids to death, but they're too small. I've been raising my, for my, uh, my 16 year old since he was four years old. His mama moved away, left him with me. That's cool. My son is 16, year, uh, 16 years old now, been in gifted his entire life. This kid done fell in FCAT twice. It's a boy. Oh, don't laugh. I'm a good parent as hell. Right? So we're talking about the FCAT and the importance of the FCAT, right? So I'm telling my son, I say, man, you got to tighten up on the FCAT. He sucked his teeth at me, sir. I got mad I didn't mean to, but I did. He said, boy, I bet you don't even know what the FCAT stands for. He said, yes, I do. I said, no, you don't. He said, yes, I do, daddy. You the one don't know what it stands for. He said, yeah, it stands for the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test. My son stood back and said, shoot, daddy, that ain't what my teacher said to me. I said, what your teacher said the FCAT stand for? He said, daddy, my teacher said the FCAT stands for, you can forget college after this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laugh at I had, I had to have a teacher's conference. Just some nonsense talking to my kid like that. I said, I love my kid, but they bad. Like, I got my 10 year old, my junior. I love my kid. My kid is bad. I'm telling you, my son's birthday is December 18th. This boy is bad from January 1st to December 1st. He think if he's good for 17 days, he really good gift. Okay. <laughs> I do my son like he did to me, like he did me. I took my son to Toys R Us on his birthday, kicked in the door. So you can have anything you want to. He said, for real, Dad? I said, mm -hmm. He said, Dad, I want an Xbox 360. I was like, all right, cool. Went to the Xbox 360. I said, son, is this what you want? He said, yep. I said, so is this the Xbox 360 you were talking about? He said, yes, Daddy. I said, cool. I looked at that price, though. I was like, ooh. We can't do no 360. We can do a 180. <laughs> My son said, Daddy, what's the 180? I said, turn around and go back home. <laughs> That's my kid, man. Yeah, my family tripped. I love everything about my family, like my grandma. My grandma passed away in February. Love everything about my grandma. I'm going to tell you what I didn't understand about my grandma. For some reason, older people believe that if you cook black eyed peas for the New Year, it brings prosperity and wealth to the house, right? Right, right? I, same thing happened to my grandma uh, January 1st before she passed. I had a conversation. And all people in uh, late, tw late 20s and 30s know you can never question your grandma. But I did this time because I wanted to know. My grandma was getting off the phone. Spunky, I gotta go cook these black eyed peas for the new year come in. I said, Grandma, before you go, answer this question. Why every year you get off the phone with me because you say I uh, go put on some black eyed peas for the new year? She said, Well, Spunky, you know they say I bring prosperity and wealth to the house. I said, Well, <laughs> well, Grandma, you must have been seasoning yours, right? You see, Grandma, what you talking about? I need some pepperoni, some complete seasoning. I don't Come on, guys. <laughs> love my family, though, man. I love the pretty women in the house. Uh, pretty women. Don't wait for these men to, uh, to, to get, uh, clap it up for you. Clap it up for yourself right now, pretty women. Clap it up. If you're pretty, you know it. Okay, okay. Some low self-esteem in this area, but that's cool. That's what's up. That's cool. That's cool. I see y'all. I like women. Women, I'm going to tell you something. Women, you're single, and I'm going to tell you why you're single. Because when a single man come to try to talk to you, you always got some great stuff to say about yourself. Like, you got yourself together, and I don't. Like, you pretty. Gorgeous, right? But I guarantee you, if any single man came up to you and asked you to tell her, tell her, Tell them about you, you're going to have some great stuff to say. Yeah, I own my house, and I'm the supervisor at the job, and I like to travel the country. And single fellas, we ain't going to say it, but what we thinking? Man, I can't do nothing for this woman, man. <laughs> but 
But I ain't gonna let you make me look bad because you're gonna ask me about myself and I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell the truth. Don't lie. Fellas, don't lie. She's gonna say, Spunky, what's good in your life? I'm gonna say, well, food stamps just gave me an extension. Hallelujah. <laughs> my cousin don't go out no more, so she said, I can get a car anytime I want to now. <laughs> you gotta talk to women on your level, fellas. If you know how to talk to women on your level, you'll never go wrong. Like, you can't be, uh, uh, the drive through man at Burger King, but you want to talk to the CEO at Coca-Cola. Sit down, it ain't work. Talk to women on your level like me. I talk to women down here, sweetheart. I want my girl to build a phone with her friends bragging about all the stuff I got in my life, which is nothing. <laughs> she can be on the phone, the conversation can be ignorant and all, get out. Ooh, girl, I'm a married spunky girl, guess what? Him and his brother got their own rooms at Negro Miles. <laughs> hey, but the girl the other line, she dumb too. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. And don't try to holler at me, because guess what, girl? They got a washer and a dryer. Girl, they ballin'! I'm in the back of her like this. <laughs> I don't like y'all. <laughs> Tell me what they all, I don't like about women. You get lost or something for me. I don't like, like women, when, you, when you're mad at your man, and you don't want to make love to your man and stuff like that, what's, the first thing you do is you stop making love to your man, but I don't like that. The part I don't like is the excuses that you make, right? Because excuses never make sense. I know because I had this girl at my mama's house about three days ago. I'm trying to make love to this woman. But she got all type of stupid excuses. They never made sense. Oh, Spunky, my hair hurting. My kids woke. We cousins. All type of stuff. I knew he was cousin. You ain't got to explain that. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> love everything about Miami, man. You know what I like? I like the white people. I love white people. I just don't like the ones that grew up in black neighborhoods. Black people, y'all going to understand me on this one. Black, white people that grew up in black neighborhoods always think they grew up rougher than we did, doesn't they? They're doing it. That's what they do, and I know. I got a white friend. He and I was fussed the other day, man. He said, Spunky, let me tell you something, brother. I got two D's in my book car. I didn't tell my mom. She found out she started wailing on me, Spunky. She started beating me for nothing. And I know for a fact that your mom wouldn't have ever beat you for nothing, would she? I said, man, my mom used to whoop me because I look like my daddy. Look at the nonsense you're talking about. I get beat because I like my daddy. Tell you, don't I always tell people, man, don't let nobody tell you something wrong with your race, man. No, there's something wrong with everybody's race. Like, this doesn't happen to every grown person in here. Man, if you ever picked up your phone, and there's a Spanish person on the phone, you try to explain her the best you could, and she won't understand what she's talking about? It happened to me about a week ago. Picked up the phone, she's talking Spanish. I'm like, ma'am, I don't understand you. She's still talking. I hung up the phone. She called right back, don't they? Picked up the phone. She's talking Spanish. I'm like, ma'am, I do not understand you. Hung up the phone. This lady called me right back. I said, I'm finna get her, sir. Picked up the phone, she's talking that Spanish. I said, ma'am, me no speaking no English. She said, oh, okay, thank you, bye. I said, what? She tricked me. Spanish lady just tricked me, man. She got tricked. I don't like being tricked. Don't worry, everybody raised, like black, like black people, y'all know, every black person in here for the field is. Black people, we be dead wrong. Do y'all know that black people can ask you to participate in something, but when you participate, they get mad at you because you, you participated? I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. A friend know I'm a comedian. He want to do your mama jokes. You know what your mama jokes is? I say something funny about your mama. You say something funny about my mama. We laugh. We go about our business, right? My friend want to do your mama jokes. I'm like, man, nah, I ain't doing your mama jokes. He was like, come on, man. For real, let's do your mama jokes. All right, you go first. He was like, um, your mama mouth so bad that she had to have braces on her dentures. <laughs> so I thought, later, I'm like, oh. I'm like, that's kind of good. He was like, all right, Spunk, you go. I'm like, all right, um, your mama got a fake arm with a real tattoo on it, right? <laughs> That's what they did. Everybody started laughing, right? This dude looked me square in my face and say, Hey, brother, I'm talking about my mama. She dead. I said, Nigga, you asked me to do this. What you talking about? <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to do much. I'm gonna start the show in a minute. <laughs> Get about it in a minute. Um, <laughs> did y'all know, like me, I do comedy for the broke people. You know what I'm saying? I do, for, I do comedy for the broke people. Because broke conversations is some real conversation. Like I'm telling you, if you ever around some broke people, sir, and which I know you probably have in your lifetime, you heard these two words. And I two words through the whole broke conversation, the word man shoot. And be, they, all you do is flip around, they be like, shoot, man, you know this. <laughs> now I'm gonna give y'all the conversation that two broke people had coming here today. <laughs> I guarantee you, if there's any real broke people out here tonight, y'all gonna finish this here, watch this. Hey man, you wanna go to a little uh, food and comedy festival, man, they got out there, man, you know what I'm saying? It's free, I can pick you up if you want me to, man, or you can drive. I oh, know, I'm gonna go ahead and drive. All right, that's cool. Hey, man, you know they charge like $10 for parking, though. Shoo, man, don't come get me with that nonsense. <laughs> I'm comedian Spunky, man. If y'all got a... Um, if y'all got Facebook or Twitter, man, y'all can always hit me up. Spunky Robinson, that's S-P-U-N. 
KY Robinson, my Instagram, the number one. Spunky Robinson, I'm everywhere, uh, doing everything. Before I go, I always got to do this. Because um, I don't know if y'all know, but the music is changing, right? Like, things are changing, the music is changing. I don't really like it. And I always wonder, what the R&B singers and the rappers made music about beautiful big girls and stopped making music about sexy girls? Music could be different. Change the whole game. Like Trey Songz. If Trey Songz would have made that uh, invented song about the beautiful big women, the song would be totally different. It'd be a hit. Play that song, DJ. You going with that thing? Yeah. <laughs> this goes out to all my big girls. Which one of y'all? Oh. Which, 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 which one of y'all? Which one of y'all coming home with trigger? I see you over there drinking forties, kissing you on your neck, but your neck was all salty. And then I said, baby, what's up? She said, Mickey D's and Pizza Hood. Went to Mickey D's and I had to spin the dub. Had ten bags, but all of that hus, hus. She looked over it as was a hungry. Girl, you can't be eating my kid stuff. In the day and grave is where your butt gon' end up. You getting fat or relaxed? Hold up, let me turn this radio. Girl, let me eat another rib inside of a bed. Girl, I would think, girl, I would think, girl, I would think. And when I pull back the machine, barbecue sauce on your knee. Girl, I would think, girl, I would think, girl, I would think. Give your stomach some rest. Yes, I did. Oh, you would give your stomach some rest. Do it like I did. Okay. But well, man, she don't play. We pull up to the subway. She told me not a lot of mustard. I'm listening to Usher. I got a confession. You eating way too much. I think you ate up all your blessings. She barely can make it upstairs. She called when I ain't there. Told me all I want from you. It's to go to Burger King, get me four number twos. I need a whopper life right now. I know I live a big girl lifestyle. But can I get it right now? Hey, my name's Funky Bad Mojo. I'm trying to push out here. Y'all keep it going for Spunky Robinson, y'all, please. Show love to Spunky Robinson, man. Kids, y'all like Spunky? He does kids' parties. He does kids' parties. He does kiss parties, only single mothers though.